what is the volume of this sphere? To find the volume of a sphere, we need to start by looking at the formula for the volume of a sphere. So let's look at this formula. The volume of a sphere is equal to 4 thirds times pi r cubed. So here the volume of a sphere is equal to 4 thirds times pi times the radius cubed. Now we can use this formula to find the volume. In step number two, let's identify the variables in this formula so that we can then plug in their values and solve to get the volume. Well, V is the volume of our sphere, which is what we're trying to find. And we don't know that yet. Now what about R? R is the radius of the sphere. To find the radius of a sphere, you need to find the distance between the centermost point of the sphere and the outer edge of the sphere. So we need to measure this length. If we look, we can see it's already been measured for us. We go from the centermost point of the sphere to the edge of the sphere. That length measures 8 inches. That means that the radius r of this sphere is 8 inches. Great! Now what about pi? Pi is an irrational number. And in order to get the volume for this problem, let's approximate pi to be the decimal 3.14. Great! Now that we've identified these variables, let's go through our formula and plug the variables in. Let's see. The volume of our sphere, V, is equal to 4 thirds times pi, which we're approximating as 3.14, times r cubed, the radius cubed, which would be 8 cubed. Now in order to get the volume of the sphere, we need to take this equation and solve it for V. To do that, we need to take this right-hand side and simplify it using the order of operations. According to the order of operations, the first thing we need to do here is take 8 cubed. So let's do that. The volume of our sphere is equal to 4 thirds times 3.14, and 8 cubed is the same as taking 8 and multiplying it together 3 times. If we do that, we get 512. Perfect! Now next, in the order of operations, we need to simplify what's inside the parentheses. So we need to multiply these two numbers together. So we have V, the volume, is equal to 4 thirds, and 3.14 times 512 is 1,607.68. Great! Now we have a fraction times a number. Well, let's turn this number into a fraction as well, to make this a little easier. So we have 4 thirds, and then here we'll have 1,607.68 over 1, turning this number into a fraction. Now we have a fraction times another fraction. To multiply two fractions together, we need to multiply the numerators together, then multiply the denominators together. So here we take 4 times 1,607.68. When we do, we get 6,430.72. And in the denominator, 3 times 1 is 3. So all we need to do to get the value now is to perform this division. When we perform this division, we get 2,143.573333. Ew! That's not a very pretty answer. To make this answer look a little more presentable, let's round it to two decimal places. So when we round our answer, we get that the volume is equal to 2,143.57. But before we can call this our answer, we need to remember to put units, since volume is a measurement. And volume is measured in units cubed. Well, we're working with inches, since that's what our radius is measured in. That means that our volume is measured in inches cubed. And now we have our answer. The volume of this sphere is 2,143.57 inches cubed.